This house doesn't have a warm, draft-free place. What about the closet? You can't let dough rise in a closet. Why not? I don't know. It just seems perverted. <laughs> uh, how about here? Oh, yeah. That's good. Hmm? Yeah, that's dry. That'll be good enough. Okay. Nothing to do now but watch our dough rise. Terrific. Two single girls on a Friday night, and we're watching our dough rise. <laughs> do you realize we're actually baking bread? We've never baked bread before. Baking bread is boring. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what it is about baking that gets that little Pillsbury dough man so turned on. Maybe he bakes little dough women. <laughs> Hello? Yes, just a minute, please. California. Who in California? The whole state. How do I know? Oh. Hello? Yes, operator. Speaking. Do we have Prince Albert in a can? Mary Alice! Mary Alice in the can? No, no, Mary Alice from high school. Hey, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yes, Washington is an exciting town. Tonight? Uh, well, tonight I'm baking bread. <laughs> Atomic pumpernickel. Well, sometimes it's exciting. But how about you, you old married lady? You are. You're not. But you thought you were. Well, there's always next month. <laughs> You're kidding. There's no next month? Uh, no, no. Uh, when? You're kidding. Quite a kidder, Mary Allen. Mary Alice and her husband are coming to Washington. You're kidding. <laughs> yes, I'll hold, thank you. Oh, Dina, I'll be with you in a minute. Yes, I am holding. I really will hold. I promise. What kind of place makes you promise to hold? The Federal Hotel. That explains it. It's not a good hotel? You want a shower, you have to order hot water the night before. Does that sound like a good hotel? I was going to make reservations for my friends. Then now's a good time to start calling them your ex-friends. Hang on. But I promised. Hang. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. Full. Six conventions in town this week. Every hotel is full. Even the motels? Shriners. Oh, maybe this year they'll vote to get new hats. <laughs> Dina, my friends are coming in tomorrow and they don't have a place to stay. How would they feel about joining the Shriner? <laughs> hey, sissy, I need the pillowcases. Fellow members of the clan, I've got a big surprise for you. <laughs> You're under arrest, sugar. <laughs> You're in a better mood now, huh? Uh, no, I'm just trying to be in a better mood now. Look, Sissy, there's nowhere else they can stay, and it's just for a few days. I don't know if I want a few days with Mary Alice. But you don't even know Mary Alice. It's not her, it's her name, Mary Alice. Sounds like a girl who never saw a toilet that didn't have blue water in it. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's Bam, and the bed's not even made. Okay, go, I'll do the bed. Thanks, Sissy. But I don't do windows. <laughs> Mary Alice! Karen! Oh! Oh, you look, you look terrific! terrific. <laughs> oh, listen, come oh. on in, come on in. Oh, oh, it looks so 
Eastern. <laughs> oh, Karen, this is my Prince Charming Don. Donnie, this is Karen. Hi, Don. Hello there. Hello. Oh, Sissy, I'd like you to meet Mary Alice and Don Whitaker, and this is Sissy Peterson. Nice to meet you, Sissy. Would you just take these things up to our room and then come back and get the two little bags out on the porch, please? Uh, uh, Mary Alice, uh, Sissy is my roommate and my friend, right? Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were the maid. <laughs> oh, I did. And this is my room. Oh, Karen. Your room while you're here. It's adorable. Still Eastern. <laughs> what do you think, Donnie? Well, let me see. Yeah, yeah, adorable. Of course, at home we've got a king-size playpen. Donnie. Donnie's got a one-track mind. <laughs> Karen. I still feel terrible about your friend. The way we acted. I mean, you know how liberal I've always been. It's okay, Mary Alice. But it's not okay if Sissy doesn't think it's okay. You tell her, Karen. Tell her that we're very liberal. <laughs> I'll tell her. Tell her about that girl at school, how nice I was to her. That girl? You know, the colored girl. Black. What? Uh, the colored. They like to be called black now. I know that. You remember that girl at school. I guess I don't remember. You have to remember, Karen. She was the only one. I forget her name, but we were very close friends. <laughs> but you don't mean Loretta, do you? Oh, yes, Loretta. Oh, I remember. I brought her home to dinner once and my folks almost died. But, Mary Alice, Loretta wasn't black. She was Asian. She was? Oh, well, I knew it was one of those. <laughs> oh, no, Don, please. I'm fine. Well, we brought this wine just for you, 28 bucks. No, thank you. Donnie really. always drinks the best. Well, I'm afraid the best gives me the same kind of headache as the non-best. Oh, <laughs> Donnie knows everything about wine. He spent two weeks in Europe. The Europeans are very into wine. You should see him in a restaurant. He just looks the waiter straight in the eye and says, Give me a bottle of your best red. Or best white. It all depends on what you're eating. <laughs> Waiters really respect Donnie. I can imagine. Oh, there's a picture of Karen when she was a cheerleader. Oh, I'll never understand how you used to jump in the air with your legs apart like that. <laughs> well, it seemed important at the time. Oh, no, thank you. Really. No, <clears throat> I was always just a little bit jealous that you made cheerleader and I didn't. Oh. There were only three cheerleaders and I came in fourth in the vote. It was close, though. Six votes for Helen Green. All the boys voted for her because she was cheap. <laughs> Look, Chris Weber. Oh, he was so adorable. Adorable. Yeah, class president. Mm. I wonder what ever happened to him. Oh, he's working in a car wash at Petaluma. You're kidding. <laughs> Nancy Jo Reinhauser saw him there last summer. She felt so bad, she tipped him 50 cents. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys sure I can't get you something to eat? Oh, no. We ate twice on the plane. Oh. Food-wise, they take very good care of you in first class. First class. We always fly first class. They give you those little earphones for free. Ah. Mary Alice needs more grape. Well, uh, Don, uh, Mary Alice said you're in Washington on business. Uh, what sort of business are you in? Lumber. Lumber. I've got the second largest timber operation in Northern California. You know the place, Karen. We used to play there when we were kids. Oh, it's your daddy's company. Donnie's vice president. <laughs> hey, here we are uh, talking about ourselves. I'd like to hear about Karen. Oh. oh, yes. Tell us about you, Karen. You work for the government. I know that. Oh, well, actually, I don't work for the government. You don't? No. Well, it has something with America in it. Open America. It's a citizen's lobby. A lobbyist? You must make a bundle. Oh, not exactly. You see, I lobby for the people, and they don't pay very much. With all the money floating around this town, why, I know guys who've made millions from government contracts, and they've never even delivered a product. 
I know. See, that's exactly the sort of thing that open America and citizens' lobbies are against. But that's the American way. Oh, come on. That's not the American anything. Oh, this is getting heavy. Let's talk about some nice stuff like Karen and her congressman. What congressman? You know Karen, that congressman you're having the thing with. Bob Hartford? That's the one. Well, I wasn't having a thing with him. Oh. Uh, you know uh, Hartford? No, I mean, she went with him. Mary Alice, I didn't go with him. Do you still uh, know him? Well, yes, but I... He's our congressman. I'd like to meet him. Hey, maybe we could all have dinner together. We could double. Oh, oh well, I... I would just love to meet a congressman. How about tomorrow night? Well, I suppose so. Donnie, is there any more wine? Huh? Oh, no. No, all gone. Good. Because I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Come on. Look, look. We'll go to the finest restaurant in Washington, and I'll, uh, I'll pick up the check. I'll order the Donnie. wine. Get, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> look, it'll be terrific. We'll have a wonderful time. Come on. Oh, look, blue water! <laughs> Karen? Oh, Don. I, uh, I noticed the light on. Well, I was just turning the lights off. I noticed that, too. Uh, is, uh, Mary Alice all right? Sure, fine. It was just the flight and everything. She's, uh sound asleep. Oh, well, uh, you must be pretty tired from the flight, too, huh? <laughs> No, no, flying makes me, uh, not tired. <laughs> uh, uh, Don, is there something you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, look, uh, you don't have to act surprised. We both know the score. What score is that? I saw how you were looking at me. Hmm? Karen, hmm? life's too short for games. You only go around once. You've got to grab all the gusto you can. Yeah, well, I don't want you to grab any gusto around here. Hey, what, what's going on? Well, uh, you're, you're Mary Alice's husband. Yeah. And well, I'm Mary Alice's friend. Mary Alice has some very friendly friends. Yeah, well, this one isn't. Now, you just get back into your room with Mary Alice, huh? Ha. Hey, you want to play hard to get for a while. Okay, okay, I can dig it. Oh, boy, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. Mary Alice, the important thing is that you feel better. Yeah, well, I'm going to make the reservations and everything and talk to Bob Hartford and they're all right. Okay. Tell me, Dina, about this place and who runs it. This place is Open America and it's run by you, Mr. Bush. And I'm what might be called in another place the boss, is that right? That's right. And she works for me, is that also right? That's two in a row. That's what I thought. Then would you mind explaining to me why I am standing here waiting for her to get off the phone? Because you're a warm, understanding, patient boss? No, because I'm a silly old fool. Every time I try to get her off the phone, she looks at me with those big brown eyes. <laughs> but that's all of them. No more silly old fool. Dina, tell Karen to get off the phone. I can't do that. Doesn't anybody take orders around here anymore? Uh, Karen's trying to organize sort of an important dinner for tonight. For open America. Well, not exactly. Well, then it's not important. Well, it is to her. She has these friends in from California, and they want to meet Congressman Hartford. Hi, Bob. That's sap. And uh, she's having a hard time juggling the arrangements because her friends insist on a swank restaurant. Their word, not mine. None of which has a table available at the same time the Congressman's available. Tell her to get off the phone. Oh, just give her another minute. I think she's almost got it worked out. Mr. Bush, I oh, was wondering... Go away, Adam. Yes, Mr. Bush. Wait a minute. Yes, Mr. Bush. Adam, how long have you been here with us? Uh, yeah. months now. Months? Well, I think it's about time you had some real responsibility of your own, don't you? Oh, yes, sir. I mean, if you think I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. Adam, tell Karen to get off the phone. <laughs> Yeah, reservations for four. Uh, just a minute, please. Yes, Adam. Uh, Mr. Bush told me to tell you to get off the phone. Oh, okay. 
Yes, 8.30. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> that boy's going places. <laughs> I mean, I went steady, but nothing serious until Donnie. <laughs> uh, Mary Alice, I'm sure Congressman Hartford doesn't want to hear how we met. Oh, oh. But I do. And call me Bob. All my California friends call me Bob. Oh, thanks, Bob. Mary Alice, why don't you tell Bob how we met? Well, it was at a single ski week at Lake Tahoe. Tahoe, great California lake. Half of it's in Nevada. Not the good half. <laughs> good, Bob, good. <laughs> anyway, I had a broken ankle. And I was just sitting around the lodge. And Donnie asked if he could autograph my cat. Well, that's sweet. Oh, it was. He drew a little happy face on my cast, only he made it a little sad face on account of my ankle was broken. And then he wrote, my name is Don Whitaker, and I think I love you. No, oh, that is sweet. Huh? <laughs> oh, and clever. He could have been a writer, but he didn't want to. Well, who wants to write about life when you can live it? Don is really into living. He says that you only go around once in life, so... You gotta grab all the gusto you can. How did you know? Have you decided? Oh, uh, uh, oh. Mm. uh, Karen? Oh, I don't know. Everything's so expensive. Hey, it's my treat. Besides, it's not coming out of our pockets. It's on the expense account. It's all deductible. So it's just out of the taxpayer's pocket. Hey, you're bright. I like that. I'll just have a salad. <laughs> Madame? The lobster. Uh, the one for $15? Um, bouffe bourguignon. And you, sir? Um, I'll have the same as the, uh, the congressman, the bouffe. <laughs> wine, Donnie. Don't forget the wine. Oh, yes, yes. We'll ha have some wine. Watch this. Now, let's see. Uh, Bob and I are having a uh, bouffe. Is that like meat? Uh, yes, Mary Alice. Well, I'm having fish. We'll uh, have a bottle of your best pink. Did I tell you, when Donnie orders wine, they listen. <laughs> well, pretty good meal. Mm. Mm. It's not California barbecue. But, uh, sweetheart, uh, Bob and I want to have a little man talk. Oh, well, I guess it's time for us, then, to go powder our noses. What? You know the little girl's room? Oh, I don't have to go to the little girl's room. But after dinner, all the girls, we always go to the little girl's room. Don't you have to powder your nose? No. Oh, why don't you go with Mary Alice? Don, big girls go to the bathroom all the time by themselves. Besides, I'm dying to hear about some of this real man talk. Well, Karen's not going. I'm not going. I'll just sit here till I pop. Don, I don't think we're going to say anything that isn't fit for the ladies' ears. Let them stay. Bob's hoping to get a centerfold in Ms. Magazine. Oh, really? Uh, well, what I wanted to talk to you about, Bob, was uh, uh, timber. Great California business timber. Glad you feel that way, because we, uh, we timber men, we've got this little problem. Don, I came to Congress to help my people with their problems. What's yours? Ecology freaks. They don't want us to cut down the trees. They say they're too young. That's a problem. Not, not impossible. Uh, now, wait a minute. Karen, I don't think this really concerns you. But it does concern me, Bob. It always concerns me when someone's talking about chopping down my trees. Karen, sweetheart, we're not talking about your trees. We're talking about my trees. Actually, they're daddy's trees. Well, they are. The nerve of that guy. You know, he wants Bob Hartford to fix it so he can cut down trees the Forest Service they're too young to cut. Stupid Bob Hartford's just liable to do it for him. Well, America needs its toothpicks. Sissy, well, what do you want from me? I got my own problems, like with your friend Don. What? Last night, when you guys came back from dinner and everyone went to bed, Yes. Well, Don didn't go straight to bed, at least not his. He came into my room and said he was looking for the refrigerator. Oh, sissy, you didn't... Are you kidding with that creep? 
I told him to get out, and he said, get this. He thought my kind was supposed to be hot stuff. He said that? Would my kind use words like hot stuff? Karen! Karen, where are you? A lucky bride. Uh, Mary Alice, over here. Oh, it didn't hurt. Hi. Guess where I've been. Divorce court? No, shopping for Donnie. I just love to get stuff for him. You know, someday, when you girls are in love, you'll know how I feel. I got a present for Bob, too. Bob? Congressman Bob. Donnie thought we ought to get him just a little something. Wait, this little something, wasn't it expensive? Oh, no, $150, $200. I forget. Mary Alice, a present like that for a congressman is, well, it's... Don't you think he'll like it? <laughs> That's not the point. Hey, where is everybody? Don's here. Don's here! Uh, oh, hon, I'll be right up. I'll just put these things away. Don's here. I think I'll lock myself in my room. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Miss me? Yes, as a matter of fact, I've been thinking. You and I should have a little talk. Right, right, a talk. Tonight? Where? Oh, here, so we can be alone. I knew it, I knew it. Don knows his women like Don knows his wine. He sure does. <laughs> wake up Mary Alice in an hour for her allergy pills. Yeah, but we don't want to rush it, do we? No, no, of course not, as long as I'm upstairs in an hour. Oh, you will be. Ah, uh, that's my kind of woman. <laughs> I want a little talk first. Oh, sure, right, uh, talk. Uh, uh, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about you. Oh, oh, well, good subject. <laughs> about you and what a totally rotten person you are. <laughs> rotten? And evil. You remember evil? What the three monkeys didn't want to know anything about? Karen, I didn't come down here to talk about monkeys. Can't you get it through your thick ego? The only reason I'm here is to tell you not to be here. Are you telling me there's not going to be any romance? Not with you. There would be romance with armadillos before there'd be romance with you. Armadillos? Monkeys? Hey, I don't have to take this. Uh, no. You do have to take this. And this. You are leaving tomorrow. You're not going to bribe Bob Hartford with that crummy attache case, and you're going straight back to California and only cut down the trees you're supposed to cut down. Now, you got that straight, Bozo? Bozo? And if you don't do this, Mary Alice is going to find out just how faithful her faithful husband is. Uh, you wouldn't do that. You just try me. Uh, we'll be gone in the morning. Karen. What? Uh, you've got a lot to learn about fooling around. Just one of these Was it this time visitors from another planet? No, this time it's business. She's talking to Congressman Hartford. That's sap. She's reminding him that it's improper for members of Congress to accept gifts from anyone who has something to gain from any action that member of Congress might take. What's that mean in English? She's telling the sap that taking bribes is a no-no. Doesn't he know that already? Oh, he knows it. But it's our job to remind him, right? Adam? Yes, Mr. Bush? Tell Karen to stay on the phone. Bob, I know they're old trees, but that's no reason to cover them over with cement. <laughs>